Secure your applications for free with Keycloak. But what is it, how to install it, and how to configure it to secure your applications? This video covers that. But let's begin by understanding what Keycloak actually does. Whether you're working with web apps, mobile apps, or other services, Keycloak provides control over how users access your applications. Meaning, it ensures that users can log in securely and have the right permissions to view or edit content. Simply put, it handles authentication, who they are, and authorization, what they can do. So, in short, Keycloak provides simplicity, security, and many, many built-in features. Plus, it's open source and free to use. Other similar services on the internet can cost a lot for roughly 7,000 users, while Keycloak, on the other hand, with just 2 GB of RAM, can handle over 100,000 users. But how does Keycloak work with your applications and users? When a new user visits your application, they are redirected to Keycloak's sign-in and sign-up page. Then the user signs in, after that Keycloak creates a code and redirects the user back to the application. Finally, the user provides the code to the application, and the application validates the code with Keycloak and gets tokens containing the user's data. This Romance of the Three Kingdoms is called the OpenID Connect protocol, and it's a default protocol in Keycloak. Also keep in mind that other protocols like SAML are supported. So, without a tool like Keycloak, Managing and implementing all this manually would be complex, error-prone, and risky. Now that we know why Keycloak is powerful, let's dive into installing it. And since Keycloak provides a containerized image, we can just simply use Docker. However, note that in production environments, Keycloak requires private and public keys. These are used for encrypting and decrypting messages between Keycloak and other applications. So, make sure that OpenSSL tool is installed and run the following command. This puts public key in a certificate, uses RSA algorithm, private key will be in the key.pem file, certificate will be in the cert.pem file, give it a year period, etc. After finishing that, finally, we can start Keycloak using Docker. Make sure that Docker is installed, then run the following command. This starts a container named MyKeyCloak, bounce the keys, expose the ports, assign admin name and password. Finally, starting Keycloak with the mounted certificates. Once Keycloak is ready, access the admin console at localhost port 8443. Log in with the admin credentials we set earlier. Welcome to the Keycloak admin console. First, let's create a room which is a world for applications, users, login methods, etc. Click on the Create Realm button and give it a name. Next, let's allow users to register themselves. Go to the Realm settings, then Login tab, and enable registrations. Now, let's see an example of an application secured by Keycloak. Here I have a simple Node.js Express application that uses the Keycloak Connect library provided by the Keycloak community. This application has two endpoints, public and secure. The secure endpoint requires the user to be logged in, to be authenticated. However, to connect our application to Keycloak, we need to create an application profile in Keycloak. Then download the connection file. So, first, admin console, clients, and create a new client. Give it a name, and make it confidential. Second, download the connection settings by clicking on the actions, then download adapter, Save the adapter to your application folder. Now let's test our application by visiting the public and the secure page. When visiting the public link, no login is required, but for the secure link, you will be redirected to the Keycloak sign-in page. After a successful user registration, you will be able finally to access the secure page. And just like every beginning has an end, we've reached the end of this video. I hope it gave you some valuable insights. If you have any questions or want to see more DevOps content, feel free to drop a comment below. And if you found this helpful, you know what to do. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Salam.